June 9th. The next best thing to do. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. Luke 11, verse 10. Ask if you have not received. There is nothing more difficult than to ask. We will long and desire and crave and suffer, but not until we are at the extreme limit will we ask. A sense of unreality makes us ask. Have you ever asked out of the depths of moral poverty? If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. But be sure that you lack no wisdom. You cannot bring yourself up against reality when you like. The next best thing to do if you are not spiritually real is to ask God for the Holy Spirit on the word of Jesus Christ. See Luke 11, verse 13. The Holy Spirit is the one who makes real in you all that Jesus did for you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. This does not mean you will not get if you do not ask. Uh, See Matthew 5, verse 45. But until you get to the point of asking, you won't receive from God. To receive means you have come into the relationship of a child of God, and now you perceive with intelligent and moral appreciation and spiritual understanding that these things do come from God. If any of you lack wisdom, if you realize that you are lacking, it is because you have come into contact with a spiritual reality. Do not put your reasonable blinkers on again. Ask means beg. Some people are poor enough to be interested in their poverty, and some of us are like that spiritually. We will never receive if we ask with an end in view, if we ask not out of our poverty but out of our lust. A pauper does not ask from any other reason than the abject panging condition of his poverty. He is not ashamed to beg. Blessed are the paupers in spirit.